Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, you can really see the power of logarithms. It turns out that if you were asked to solve this particular equation, 3 to the x power equals 4, or this equation, e to the 2x minus 1 equals 2.6, you'd have a really tough time doing so if you couldn't use the properties of logarithms. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the log of both sides. So we take the log of the left side, and we take the log of the right side. If 3 to the x power equals 4, and then you take the log of both sides, well, that equation should still be valid and equal. So, on the left side, we write the log of 3 to the x power, and on the right side, we write the log of 4. If this is true, then this must be true as well. But now, we can use the power rule. We can take the x and put it in the front, so this is x times the log of 3 is equal to the log of 4. And now we can divide both sides by the log of 3. So now we can write that x is equal to the log of 4 divided by the log of 3. And then all we have to do is grab a calculator and calculate the log of 4 and the log of 3. So the way that works is you plug in the number 4 and you push the log button. And when you do that, you get the following. You get x is equal to... 0 0.60266026 divided by now we take 3 we push the button the log button and we get 0 0.47712 and so therefore x equals we get 1.2619 2619 two, decimal places. So there you go, that's how you evaluate it. But you couldn't even begin unless you had the rules of logarithms and that is how it's done. Now on our next example, notice we have e to the 2x minus 1. So instead of using the common log, I'm going to use the natural log of both sides. So I'm going to take the natural log of the left side the natural log of e to the 2x minus 1, and so the equal to the natural log of 2.6. Now here again, I'm going to use the power rule, so that means that 2x minus 1 multiplied times the natural log of e is equal to the natural log of 2.6. And remember, the natural log is the log to the base e, so the natural log of e is simply 1, so this becomes 2x minus 1 is equal to the natural log of 2.6, or 2x is equal to the natural log of 2.6 plus 1. Now, sometimes it's not a bad idea to do this, to realize that the plus 1 isn't part of the 2.6 here. And then we divide both sides by 2, so x is equal to the natural log of 2.6 plus 1 divided by 2. And now again, you grab a calculator, you punch in 2.6, now you punch the natural log button, the natural log of that, Okay, so this would be x is equal to 0 0.9555 plus 1 divided by 2. So now we add plus 1 to that, divide by 2, and we get x is equal to 0 0.97776. That's to five decimal places, and that's how we find the value for x. Again, the trick is to take the log of both sides and specifically the natural log because we had the base being equal to E and that's probably the best choice there. And that is how it's done. 